I was the first and only uh, African-American teacher junior high level in Topeka. They had plenty elementary school teachers, mostly in the elementary schools in the sections where the minorities attended Ica. I guess you would call it in a, a, an apartment, one bedroom apartment for a year, mm -hmm. for two years. Because my son was one year old when we started purchasing a, a house. And then we moved to the east side of town called Highland Park. Okay. It had recently been uh, entered into the city limits. Mm -hmm. And uh, we lived out there for 37 years. Oh, wow. And <laughs> when I, I started uh, teaching, um, they sent me to, uh, they indicated they wanted me to do some substitute teaching first, which I hadn't done. So I had no problem with that. And I, I started uh, the semester before the school year, 58, uh, I started doing some substitute teaching. And the first place they sent me was to a school, which I did not know at that time existed, that was about two and a half blocks from where we lived. Oh, okay. And um, it was in a, that section, since it was new to the city, was half rural and half city-like. And in fact, the street we lived on was not paved, mm -hmm. and there were ditches. And uh, so I, had, I drove around, you know, to see where the school was. And I found out it was a uh, school that went to sixth grade. And when I got there, when I, plot, when I appeared, I was actually replacing the principal who also taught the sixth grade. Okay. And the students, of course, lived in my neighborhood. A lot of them I didn't know because I'd only been in that neighborhood a year. Mm -hmm. One of the first things I noticed was the setup of the room. It was not the cleanest. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, big three-gallon trash can, metal trash can, was, was uh, torn at the top, metal trash can torn at the top. They did not have a cafeteria, so the students went home for lunch. They lived walking distance. And of course, they were not used to doing work. Mm -hmm. And Can I interrupt and ask what the name of the school was? Pierce Edition was the name Pierce of Edition. it. Pierce Edition, okay. And during the uh, morning when I was trying to get them settled down and uh, assign work, uh, one of the students told me, one of the female students who was as big as I was, she said, well, I'm not used to doing any work and I'm not going to do any work. And if you try to make me do it, when I come back, I'm going to bring my aunt. And she came down to the school with an ironing cord the last time she came to school and she'll have a talk with you. Well, <laughs> which was a an experience I never had before. So you're brand new teacher subbing for a teacher and a principal, and a student has now just threatened you. There were not any other uh, teachers at the school that day. In fact, no other school personnel except for the custodian. Well. I don't know where they were. Okay. I do not know. Mm -hmm. I never did find out. Okay. So <laughs> I went home for lunch. I thought about that, and I said I, to myself, I'm going back. Okay. And we're going to have order. <laughs> and that's what happened. <laughs> so we made it through that day. I think I was there three days. Right. And uh, the the custodian told me at the end of the time, he said, 
can you come back? <laughs> we I, need you back. I said, no. <laughs> and he said, oh, I wish you could come back. I said, well, I'm, I'm just a substitute. And uh, he lived in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why don't you have, you know, regular teachers and substitute? He says, you're the only one who's ever come and been able to make them behave. Wow. So I felt like that was a positive outcome. And then they began to assign me to uh, the high school level to substitute. In fact, that at that time, we had the national teacher, the national teacher of the year mm -hmm. at Topeka High School was a math teacher. Oh, wow. And I got assigned to her class, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be so successful that she would tell me when she was going to be gone, because she had to travel ahead of time, so I could be called. She says, I'm going to ask for you. And she says, you're the only one I have when I come back. My students aren't all confused. Well, yeah. see, I, I had a master's plus a year. <laughs> I was like, there's a reason why that is so. Yes. Right? So that's how I, I finally got into the system.